Hello! Sierra here from Song and Trigger Sweets. Uh, today is Earth Day. It's a very awesome day. I love the Earth, as we all should. Um, so I figured I'd sit here and talk a little bit about some of the tips and tricks that I do and things that you can do at home to help celebrate the Earth today and through the rest of the year. My personal favorite, honestly, is to dismantle the corporations who continue to pollute our planet. However, if that's too hard for you on a regular Saturday, let's look at some other options. For laundry, I use these little pods from what's called Drops. They ship in plastic-free packaging, and they have them for both laundry and dish, so I love these. I've also started using dryer balls, which are a replacement for fabric sheets, or also like fabric softener. You can put your own essential oils in them. They also help fluff your laundry, so that way they uh, your laundry will dry a little bit quicker um, and not take up as much energy. Paper towels are pretty essential here in a bakery, but I like to opt for a brand that uses uh, Tree Free, which these guys are bamboo. Um, there are also people out there that have recycled paper, and also I use reusable dishcloths and reusable towels wherever I can. Ignore the dirty dishes, but you can go a little more plastic free with your dishware by using like a walnut or a bamboo scrubber. I have my dream cloth, which is extremely well used, which these are reusable um, cloth. And then similarly, I have like a walnut based sponge here. Um, again, extremely well used. These hold up really well. They are biodegradable, usually washable in your dishwasher. So you can reuse them over and over again versus things that are plastic. And for all you coffee drinkers out there, switching from a regular coffee to a bird-friendly or at least shade-grown coffee is going to ensure that the habitat that these birds need as they migrate for winter and summer and all those seasons, make sure that their habitat is still there because they can live on the coffee farms. Of course, purchasing fair trade items from the store whenever you can. I use for fair trade items, fair trade sugar from the brand Wholesome. Also fair trade chocolate, the brand Guitard, which comes in that like shiny packaging on the store shelves. But I did notice that my Oreos this time have a sustainable sourced cocoa um, branding. I'm definitely gonna check this out. They put their website on the back, but make sure you sometimes check these out because sometimes large corporations do a lot of greenwashing to make you think that you're sustainable, but really they haven't changed their practices. As Ina Gardner would say, switch for or opt for that good vanilla, that good quality vanilla. I like to use Nielsen Massey. Um, however, going directly to farmers online um, and buying beans wholesale is a great way to save money on vanilla and also supporting those farms that are smaller but still um, following those sustainable practices. I like to use the Vanilla Queen as my baking go-to. Now I know that my first suggestion was a little bit satirical, um, but the truth of the matter is the more that we change our buying habits and the more that we stop buying from companies and supporting companies who choose not to support the environment, the more they're gonna be forced to either change their ways or go out of business and make way for those who are willing to support our environment. I also understand that going eco-friendly can be really cost prohibitive. As, um, all of my stuff that I've been doing, I've been building over years. I try to add like one new thing a year, something that's something that's a I'm able to do, um, but I never get down to myself. I'm unable to do something at the right time, right? So it's always doing the best that you can. And again, I, I really highly recommend just starting to choose companies that support the values that you support. Eventually, larger companies will hopefully get the message that we want people to support our environment and make sure that we're not exploiting our resources and they hopefully would follow suit. Um, so hope you guys have an, a great Earth Day. If you have any extra tips and tricks, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Um, and I hope you guys have a great Earth Day.